I'm Dr. Roger and this question is from the March 2021 U.S. Exam Calculator section. College Board is asking about a system of equations and as they always do for at least one question, they're asking about the number of solutions to the system of equations. These are both linear and I notice that the difference is the y co coefficient is multiplied by negative 12, the x coefficient is multiplied by negative 12. Let's divide the second equation through by negative 12. So negative 60 over negative 12 x plus 12 over negative 12 y equals negative 108 over negative 12. And that simplifies to negative 60 over negative 12 is 5. So 5x five minus y equals one, negative 108 over negative 12 is 9. They're the same equation. Since these are both the same equation, our system is 5x minus y equals 9 and 5x minus y equals 9. Every point on the graph of the first one is also on the graph of the second one, and that's infinitely many points, so there are infinitely many solutions. If you have two linear equations with different slopes in the plane, they always have exactly one solution. If you have two linear equations with the same slope but different y-intercepts, they have zero solutions. So same slope, different intercepts looks like this, parallel. There are no solutions. Same slope, different, same intercept. They're the same line. And so every point on one is on the other. They're all solutions. And if you have different slopes, you get a solution at the point of intersection, exactly one solution. They often ask this in a reverse direction, where they ask you to find the equation that has no solution, that will be the cho choice that has the same slope, or this equation that has infinitely many solutions, and that's the solution that has the same slope and the same y-intercept. So make sure you understand the conditions on linear equations to have zero solutions, one solution, or infinitely many solutions, and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.